Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some miles. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually, in much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It's totally normal. I mean, it's something female women have. It's, uh, what's next? It's not fun, I know that, but Kate manages. You'll be fine, too. Manages? How? I'm bleeding. It's supposed to happen. You'll be fine, Clem, I, I promise. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <laughs> wow, that guy is really out of it. Penicillin? Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Here we go. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this.
Okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. It's a butterfly. <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Bark, bark! Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila! Hey! Get away from him! You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but... You're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck... Well... Well, that was a, a long time ago. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking. It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. AJ could use a friend his own age. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Helped him forget about all this. For a moment, anyway. I'm sure it helped you, too. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just happy. Huh. First time in a while.
All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs>